I am gonna work as a tow truck driver here in Brookhaven. So let's gonna get started. We got our trusty tow truck right here. Let's gonna get right into it. And I have equipped the job and I do got the phone on me. So people can actually call me if they need any services or help and stuff like that. And bro, is this an abandoned police car in the middle of the road here? Okay, maybe we actually need to tow this car real quick. So let's go ahead and park up right in front of the police car. And let's gonna put in some cones just to help with the traffic. There we go. We do got some cones placed now. And yeah, we need to drive this police car or police cruiser, whatever you want to call it, up top of the flatbed. Perfect. And now we are going to be towing it away. And bro, that limo went like super fast. Whoa! I think it crashed over there. Okay, anyways, let's gonna collect the cones real quick. And then I am going to be taking this police car. Should I just bring it over to the back to the police station? Because it is a police car after all. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm actually going to be nice. I'm not going to be towing it over to the other shop. Let's just go ahead and tow it right here where it belongs. So there we go. Oh man, can I like shim it off the back here? Let's go try to shim it off, dude. There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. It is off. And bro, I'm getting a call from way over there. All right, let's go head over to that call and see what's going on. All right, where is this call coming from, dude? Hopefully it's not coming from the ocean, dude. Or is it coming from around the mountain? I have no clue really where it's coming from. Maybe it's on top of that little mountain hill over there. I don't know, dude. We just kind of have to get closer and see what's going on. Because I'm really curious now. <laughs> dude, you can like expect anything to happen. I don't know, dude. Let's go to see. I think it might be a broken down vehicle. Yup, it seems like it. Bro, what is it doing all the way over here, man? Holy cow, this is not the place to break down a vehicle. Anyways, we have arrived at scene. Let's go to see what's going on here. Oh my god, I need help with my car. Yep, I will help you, sir. Holy cow. Okay, it's burning. Let's go and grab a fire extinguisher from my truck real quick because that is very much needed right now. His car is in full flames. There we go. Let's go to make sure that the engine is out of uh, fire as well. Perfect. Holy cow. I'm really wondering what's going on here. But yeah, should we try to put it up on the flatbed? You know what? Let's go and try and drive it. Okay, there we go. Is it drivable? Okay, so it's a little bit drivable. It's not so fast and it's kind of broken. But I think we should be able to get it on top of the flatbed. And bro, I just completely messed that up. I kind of forgot to get out of the vehicle before I, uh, yeah, got it up. Okay, perfect. Now let's gonna bring it over to the other shop. And I think I actually will be needing to uh, do some, uh, yeah, some mechanic work on this car. Because it's definitely broken. It's still smoking. And the engine was really messed up when I tried to drive it on top of the flatbed air. So this actually might be a lot more work than I was expecting. But luckily, we do got the dude. He's in safety. Uh, luckily, he was not harmed, I think. But the car, bro. The car was in full flames. And bro, I'm getting another call, dude. Is it coming from over by the auto shop? Not really sure, but I'm definitely getting a call. My name is Anita Max. Thanks for the help. Yep, no worries, my man. No worries. Okay, so the call is coming from the... Yeah, it's coming from the mall. I think I will have to actually fix this first, or should I do like a multi-call? Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with this caller right here. Hey, what's going on? You just called me, ma'am. I, I literally just arrived. Okay, so this Anita Max will just have to wait a little because I need to solve this call. Hi! Yeah, you called me. Uh, what's up? Whoa! What's going on with the limo? Dude, it's crazy. Can you fix my car? Yeah, yeah, I can try at least. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the fire extinguisher and yeah, put out the fire off the car because this is just madness, dude. Okay, there we go. Nice. Thank you. Yep, no worries. Let me just go ahead and get the wrench here and get it fixed up. Should be good now, ma'am. Uh, that'll be around hundred dollars for the service, ma'am. All right, so we just fixed that random car. Oh, uh, dad, pay him. Bro, doesn't she have money? She got money for a Ferrari, but not to pay me. Mom. Oh man, come on, dude. Am I getting scammed right now? Okay. Oh, dude, is she actually gonna pay me now? Oh, dude, she got a big bag of cash. Okay, thank you, guys. Have a good one. I have a good one. Okay, so there we go. We literally just fixed that car. It was a random call that came. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go here. And, yeah, now we gotta fix this car, bro. Holy mom, I gotta do so much work today. <laughs> dude, I, but I'm definitely gonna get paid, though. There we go. Let's gonna park you this. Uh, yeah, this is a Bugatti, right? So, let's gonna park the Bugatti up on the lift right here and get it up. Perfect. And let's gonna equip some tools from the toolbox here. Nice. And you know what? I'm gonna just store the money bag in the storage room for now. Perfect. And yeah, let's go to get this car fixed up real quick so this gentleman right here can go back on the road. Okay, just working on it. And yeah, I think it should be good. Let's go to lift it down. And yeah, did it stop smoking? I think it stopped smoking. Yep. Okay, should be good as new right now. And I would just need my payment. Yep. Cash or card, sir. What do you want? Card. Okay, perfect. Follow me. Follow me, my man. Okay, so let's go to bring this uh, gentleman into the auto shop right here. And he's gonna scan his car, I think. Yo, is it 
You're not working. Yep. Okay, there we go. It went through. All righty. Have a nice day, sir. Have a, have a good one. Have a good one. Okay, so there we go. We just made more money. And, bro, that is two calls in, basically. Yeah, the first call. And I did another call on the way back. Bro, I'm actually making so much money from this. This is actually, like, super successful business. But you know what? I'm just gonna drive around and see if anybody has wrong flip park. And see if I maybe need to tow their vehicles. And that car is kind of wrong flip park. But there's actually somebody in it waiting in it in the car. So, yeah, I will not be able to tow that car. Car, and it would have been a bad move to try to tow the car while somebody's actually inside of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, dude. I'm not that kind of person. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna be driving around here and see if there's any other wrong flip park cars. Bro, there's wrong flip park cars all over the map, but yeah, look at that. Dude, there's a banana driving that car. What? Anyways, we do got a car right here or a truck. So yeah, let's gonna bring the flatbed down. I'm just gonna close the lanes real quick. There we go. Let's gonna put out a couple of cones and now we're just gonna drive this truck on top of the flatbed and yay, dude, it's a lock. And, bro, I'm actually getting another call. Okay, so let's just gonna be really, really quick about this. Let's gonna bring it on top of the flatbed, lock it in. And now let's gonna remove the cones and just take it over to the auto shop real quick. And then I'm gonna respond to the other call. Holy baba, dude. I'm getting so many calls today. This is actually insane. I think this has been one of... Oh, dude. Okay, so the car just has been... Well, uh, I guess I can just head over to the other call real quick then. But, bro, this has been one of the most busy days I've had as a tow truck driver. This is actually insane. And who is this person right here? And why is he calling if you don't have a car. Hey, what's going on, sir? You just called me, my man. I'm the tow truck service. My ATV is stuck inside there. What? Is there an ATV stuck in here? Whoa, man. Okay, so it's burning. I definitely need my fire extinguisher. So I was gonna grab that from the truck real quick. And, bro, I didn't even see the ATV. How did it end up in here? I think he thought this was, like, jumps and stuff. So he might have actually tried to hit the jumps and just ended up getting stuck here. And I think he's actually missing a wheel. Yep, he is. Let's gonna try to bring this ATV out of this place, though. There we go. Okay, we're actually able to bring it out. Now we just gotta get it on top of the flatbed, transport it over to the auto shop, get it fixed up, and hopefully make some more money. So, yep, let's gonna bring it on top of the flatbed here. And, bro, oh, there we go. Okay, it actually worked. <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second, man. I really wanted it to work. So, yeah, there we go. Now we're just bringing this smoking ATV over to the auto shop. And, yeah, I'm just gonna try to get it fixed up. Hopefully, I do got a spare wheel over at the auto shop. And, bro, are more people working as tow truck drivers now? Oh, man, somebody's trying to steal business away from me. That's not cool. Anyways, we got the ATV over at the other shop. Let's gonna bring it on top of the lift so we can actually start operating on this vehicle. Oh man, I gotta make sure that it's actually in the middle. Perfect, just like that. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab a few extra stuff from the parts room right here. And then we should be able to fix it. There we go. Let's go start working on the ATV. And I think we should be done soon. All right, let's go have a look. And yeah, bro, it's looking as good as new. Holy baba. Okay, there we go. The ATV is finished. Thank you. Yep. Cash your card, my man. Oh, dude, I think you got cash. All righty, that'll be 400 bucks, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, my man. Okay, so there we go. We just made $400. And, bro, this has been a super hectic day as a tow truck driver here in Brookhaven. And I would say I've been super happy about today's efforts. It's been a super hectic day. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.